Hey y'all, welcome back to Hillbilly Garage. I just wanted to jump in here and show you what I was working on this evening. Uh, Try to do a little bit of head work on these swirl ports, even though most everybody says they ain't much worth working on. But I believe everything's worth working on. Just depends on how much effort you want to put in it. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you what... We're not doing no heavy-duty porting on it. I'm just trying to help it out a little bit. Help maybe maybe make them flow a little bit better. I hope so. Because, uh, additionally, I looked up the uh, casting number on these particular heads. And... See if I can see one on this other one. Yeah. One four one zero two one eight seven. Turns out these are fifty six CC chambered heads. Uh, don't know if they came originally with the motor or not, but a uh, little bit smaller chambers probably make a little bit more compression. So I'm figuring if we get a little bit more air fuel mixture in them with those shallow dome pistons that we have we uh we might get a couple more ponies out of it but anyway what i wanted to show y'all and i hope i can get in here good enough for you to see good is like on this one. Oh yeah you can see it good this lip right here the uh, valve sits in this seat right here. And this lip right here is doing nothing but blocking airflow. Now this is an exhaust port, but engines and air pump brings air in, sends air out. The better we can get air to come in, the better we can get air to go out, the better and more efficient we're gonna be. Now you can also see right here I've already hit that with my burr to show you the difference this did have this much lip up here but I went ahead and knocked that down so you can get a good visual as to the kind of material that's in your way for good airflow and you can see on this intake port, you can see the lip that is all the way around it. Right there. All the way up both sides. And if we come down over here to this one, It, I have knocked most of this down. If you're looking at it straight, there you can see. I have knocked that down to where it's more flush with the valve seat. And on up in the chamber, where it's headed towards the light, I've started I've taken some material off of that lip up there too and I gotta get me some uh, sanding lugs so I can finish dressing all that out but and I got I'm waiting on some new burrs to come in I got single cut and I need double cut these are just a little bit too slow but you can see in this exhaust port when you look straight across the edges you can see, I've got to do a little bit more there. But I've got the edges of the walls setting down to where they're matching up with the seats better. And then here's a good representation right here. You can see this lip here, and you can see down here where I've cut it with the burr. So that's a lot of material over there. 
that's getting in our way to verify. Oh. And yes, they are swirl heads. You can see it. Now, I'm not going to cut the swirls out of them. But I am going to get up in here and I'm going to clean this casting bump out. Smooth this ramp up a little bit. Put a little valley in it right here. Because I believe that if we do a little bit of that, that that will help these, even though they're not the best heads. <clears throat> and I'm not going to get into cutting all the swirl out of it. But I have seen fellows on YouTube that have cut the swirl out of it. And as a matter of fact, one fellow, he really, he hit a point where his flow, he started to lose flow the more of that swirl he took out he took it all the way down to the bottom of the port completely and he lost flow so uh, taking it all the way out is probably not a good idea and here's another little mod here just smoothing these edges out around the spark plug boss here you can see this is what it originally looks like <clears throat> because air flows better around rounded corners than it does around squared edges so but that's what we're working on uh, we're going to go down into the port buff this up a little bit now on your intake ports you don't really want to make them mirror glass smooth but you do want to take out rough places that are going to disturb the uh, flow of the atomized fuel. But now on your exhaust sides, you can slick them up if you want to. Because the slicker and cleaner your exhaust ports are, the better that the exhaust gases are going to engine through your manifolds and on out the tailpipe. And the faster you can get that out of your way, the better off things are. But, uh, after we get these things ported and then clean them up again, then it'll be time to start reassembling. And we'll be moving on. But I want to thank each and every one of you for checking in, stopping in to visit with us here at Hillbilly Garage. We asked you to like and subscribe. Hey, subscribe. It don't cost you nothing. It's, there's no obligation. It's, it's just a click of a button. And you hit the bell and then you get to get notifications uh, when we post something. So, we appreciate you. Y'all have a good evening and we'll see you. Bye.